Thomas, the devourer of our time. We shall take our, our text from Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10, 11. Who can find a vicious woman? For her pride is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does simply trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Victoria, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. The devourer of our time is a woman of God, a woman after God's heart, a dedicated child of God, a believer, somebody who has given her life to Christ, who has surrendered all to Christ. She is an epitome of goodness. She has a noble character. And she is sure, she is conscious of, she is conscious that her life is a light that illuminates others. Praise the Lord. Bible says, who shall find her? This woman is costly. It is anyhow, it is not anyhow woman. It is a woman that has separated herself from the, the case of this world. This woman has qualities. Quality of this uh, vicious woman. She fears God. Everywhere she is, everywhere she finds herself, she will live a life that will glorify God. She doesn't live a life of high status. Maybe when somebody is there, you behave yourself well, but when there is no God around you, you misbehave. This is not this, this precious woman. She fears God both in secret places and in open places. This woman is an industrious woman. She is serious and dedicated to her business while keeping God first in her life above all things. A gifted woman who uses what she has to bless God and his work. She will make sure that the people around her will benefit from her. Praise the Lord. She is up and doing to help her husband. She is not lazy. Then we will go to the duties of this woman. This woman has a lot to do. This woman has respect for her husband. We have to be submissive. A woman should not nag with her husband. Thank you. 
here. Did you go? Jesus Christ. A woman should not sleep all through the night. At least in the midnight, you wake up. Go around your, but go around where your children are sleeping. Touch them. Pray for them. Cancel every plan of every plan of the enemy against their lives. Because the, the enemy is not happy about your family. So you have to make time. In the midnight, you wake up and intercede. For your household, for your family, uh, for your church, for the church of Jesus Christ, so that things will be moving, moving from fine. In the name of Jesus, yeah. our women, you are gifted. Give a gift that God gave to this church. So make yourself available. I was not I was not some. And we need to get in need again. But the need get in there with endurance. Of God. No. Make yourself available and God will use you. Every woman is given talented. There is a gift God has deposited in your life. Make it to be open. How will you do it? By making yourself available for God's usage. We are talking about a boy, a woman of God, a woman whom the Lord used to deliver his people, Israel. The Bible says that there was a time that Israelites did evil against the Lord when they would die. And God sold them to King Jadu. And this man oppressed them mightily for 20 good years. The children of Israel suffered in the hand of this man. But when Israel cried unto the Lord, the Lord rescued them through the water. This woman, when men ran away, this woman stood for the Lord. So she judged the Israelites. Praise the Lord. And God delivered them from the hand of this man, Caesar and Jadu, king of Ben. Spiritually, God used her as his giving mouthpiece. Educationally, she used her profession to judge Israel. To judge Israel's cases within and without. We are talking about the border. Did not shy away from responsibility. She stood her down to face the challenges of Israel and God gave her victory. So as she was back today to face the challenges of this church. God will use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. For the woman to be a church in Israel, Israel did not regard women as something. They did not, they have nothing to do with, with, with women's uh, this, uh, judgment. But because now many they many and they do, they do and know who wants to have a short son. Who wants to have a short son in Israel? Why not put a man on the hand?
husbands should love their wives. I think it's true. So, if there is anything you will cherish in this life, it is your wife.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of our time, we know why we are here today. Today is the rally for the women. It's not only for the women. The Lord is calling us. He is calling on us to arise and do for Him. It's high time for us to remove this reproach from God. Praise the Lord. Look at our our church. What everywhere? What every last week the women demonstrated a, a drama with some men that they were beaten by men, and it is true. Look at it today. It's, it is not so. It's supposed not to be so. Chineke, mana, I know from what the we are more than able. If we make ourselves available, God will use us. If we make our posts available for God's usage, God will use us. What funny thing is this? We have learned to uh, government chairman, this and uh, this person, this person, God said, No, you will give for me. These people will not come to do the house for me. You are a privileged person. Now, Chinek is thinking, no more can be one. When they be rich, you will Chinek be one. Chinek is saying, no, you will not do it for me. Because your hand is filled up with blood. It is your son that will do it for me. But you and I, God demands a building from us. So you are the most privileged person. Praise the Lord. Chinek is not going to go to Hegai, chapter 1. That uh, his people is living in a sealed house. A sealed house. God is not happy with us. Please, let us rise.
for speaking to us in this morning and use your daughter to bless our soul, bless our heart, encourage us to do for you. We are going to rise and do it. For today is the day we will answer your call. Bless every member here, bless everybody, bless every visitor who has come to support this work today. They are not be glorified. Bless your servant. Encourage her the more and strengthen her to speak more than this. In Jesus, they are holy now we pray. Amen. To appreciate our guidance in the Lord, especially your apostle, for a great day like this to honor the women of this church. I want to appreciate everyone. I say, May God bless you all in Jesus' name. You know, the theme of this program is the bonus of our time.
opportunity to appreciate everyone. We want to use this opportunity to appreciate everyone. Our daddies, you people are wonderful. You people are fathers. We can fly because when we have you, we have feathers and we can fly. Thank you.